Hey, hello, Facebook fans. Dragon Man here, and I'm in my World War I room in my military museum. You guys are going to get a quick history lesson. This is World War I stuff. Everything in this room is over a hundred years old. What makes World War I stuff special, just like World War II, is every country dated 99% of everything. Hey, I'm going to hold up this knife. Here, 1917. Everything was dated. Okay, see the canteen? World War I? Dated 1918. That's why it's so collectible. So anyway, uh, here, let me show you a few uh, things around here. These are called bolo knives. The oldest one I have is 1903 bolo knives. This is one of the first emblem, the patches. See this patch here, the papella? For the Army Air Corps. See that? When they used uh, double-winged airplanes in World War I in 1917, 1918. Okay, you come around here. This is Lieutenant Jim Butler's uniform. What makes him special, this is Jim Butler's footlocker. Here's a picture of Jim Butler wearing that uniform in that picture in 1917. Isn't that amazing? These are called hognail boots. See, he's wearing hognail boots. Here's a picture of them. See, they got little uh, nubs there of metal, and they're called hognails. And uh, they did that so the soldiers could get more traction in the dirt. Here's Lieutenant uh, Captain Jim uh, Butler's uh, uniform over here. And uh, here's a picture of uh, him wearing that uniform. You come around the turn here. This is the way his horse would have been set up in Europe. See, this is called a McCullen saddle. And look at the date on this canteen, 1905. This one here is dated 1917. See, everything had a date on back then. See, these are the uh, Eddie Stone 3006 rifles, Winchester, Remington. Uh, this is the last General Patton sword. See, and that's even dated right there, 1917. See that? This is the last cavalry sword, 1917. They did make a few in 1918, and then they stopped. It was called the uh, General Patton sword. See that? Everything on the floor here has a date on it, except the uh, horseshoes. Even the uh, saddle soap is dated 1917. Okay, over here, check this out. You know, in World War I, there was trench fighting. There'd be a trench about two and a half, three miles long, and another 300 feet away from that would be the, uh, the German trench, about two and a half, three feet, three miles long. And what they do for about five to six months, they just shoot back and forth to each other, right? And of course, they want to look over the trench to see what's going on, but they don't want to get their head blown off. So the U.S. government came out with these binoculars. See that? These binoculars are uh, 15 inches higher than your eyeballs. So you don't have to stick your head over the trench. You can look through those binoculars and see what's going on. If you got shot wounded in World War I and had to go to the hospital, this is what the nurses look like. See that? These are authentic nurses, World War I, Army-issued nurses' uniforms. Look how small uh, their feet were. You know, people were a lot smaller back then. Okay, come around the turn here. I have a World War I vehicle here. This is one of the first Dodge trucks Dodge made for the Army. In fact, the serial number is 147. They only made a thousand of them, and it still runs. All the vehicles I don't use for a long time, I jack them up so it doesn't distort the wooden spokes or the tires. This is what one of the first Dodge motors look like. It's only uh, like 28 horsepower, no battery, it's got a magneto. There was no starter motor, you have to crank it, and there was no fuel pump. The gas tanks had to be higher than the carburetor, that's called gravity feed, and there was no juice brakes, it's called mechanical brakes, where the brake shoe squeezes the brake drum instead of expanding. This is one of 1,000. The serial number, 147. Okay, check out the flag over here. 45 stars. The 45th state is Utah. Colorado with 38. That flag was made 1897. 
It's 122 years old. Here's the uh, Colorado flag, 36 stars. See that? You guys ever see a 13 star flag? Of course you didn't. Right over here, South Carolina. We got Alabama, we got Tennessee, we got 20 star flags, we got 31 star flags. Uh, I got uh, a total of over 4,000 flags in my military museum. Okay, check this out. This is a staff car. See that? 1918 Dodge staff car, four door. See, when uh, World War I and World War II started, the U.S. government didn't have enough vehicles to get the uh, officers around the base, so they went to Ford, Chevy, and Dodge, bought regular civilian four-door vehicles, they put numbers on it, they painted them green, or they put a star on it, and it became a staff car. They did that in World War I and World War II. A lot of history here in my military museum, and it's going to open up April 1st. There's a lot to see out here. I have more stuff now than ever. It's definitely one of the best in the United States. Hope you guys liked the video. Have a great day. Any questions, give me a call. 719-683-2200. Thanks for watching.